Uh, this is our uh, nice, <laughs> beautiful castle where the university is, lo is located. We are in uh, Cuneo region, uh, so south of Piedmont, south um, uh, west near France. And um, okay, I'm the convenor of the Master in Agroecology and Food Sovereignty. Um, I'm by background an agronomist and an agroecologist uh, since already several years. And uh, we develop, uh, we co-created this master. Uh, so the first starting uh, was uh, in 2020. And uh, now we are at the second uh, session, the second program. It's a one-year master program as all the other unis master. And uh, there are uh, four main models. Uh, there is an initial model on action experiential learning approach that is actually the uh, learning environment. So how we um, mean to, um, to develop uh, not very much, the focus is not on agroecology, but is on agroecologist, so on the students. And uh, the, the, the content is on three main dimensions, that is food sovereignty, so the larger one, um, food system and economy, no? a little bit more, uh, let's say, narrow, and sustainable agroecosystem, so everything that happened from field to farm uh, dimension. So in the five uh, domain of Stephen Klisman, we are now at touching the whole uh, of them in the uh, trans transformative approach. So the title, I don't know if you see it, uh, the title of the program is, uh, uh, the subtitle, sorry, is the Educating the Next Generation of Professional in the Agri-Food System. Uh, this is also the title of our Horizon 2020 project, so a research project that uh, the University of Gastronomic Science uh, and myself coordinated uh, from 2018 uh, till uh, this year in May. Uh, that was the, the, the yeah, fertile environment uh, where to develop this master in particular. So we, the, 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 the areas of content are agroecology, food, food, sustainability, gastronomy, agriculture, environment, urban and rural, food sovereignty, but in general, no, is uh, the reality of agro-food system in, in the whole complexity. And uh, um, what we, uh, let's say, the, the gaining this um, master is uh, you, you can go on, uh, let's say, working on uh, on, on research, like a next step, if you want to do later on a, a PhD, um, to work in the domain of, of uh, um, yeah, politics, but more, more general um, management or, um, um, yeah, the, 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 the coordination action between agriculture, food, and, and environmental, so the, the at system level and uh, as well as of production, because you will have also, we will do a lot of practical activity and all the consulting uh, with the different uh, levels. So from one side, again, farmer, but uh, to NGO, to different uh, partners. So uh, the, the, the domain in the future could be either university and research center, no NGO, international organization, single company, and the large uh, connection of the university partners that uh, it's very rich because it's connected with slow food. Um, those are some pictures about experience action and experiential learning. I don't know if you are familiar with it, but anyhow, the idea is that uh, um, of course, let's say now there is uh, adult learn by doing, but this is also more embedded in competence development so that um, there is uh, activities uh, in a specific um, guided <laughs> goal. Um, but yeah, we, we learn from the experience if we have the uh, environment to 
reflect about it. So through the reflection on the experience, it's not just the experience per se. Um, and the aim of the master is to provide a broad vision of uh, what agroecology and food sovereignty mean and how can it be supported and developed, so how to foster the transition towards to understand, to know the different dimension of agri-food system um, and foster the sustainability, enhance uh, different social setting and culture to integrate the theoretical concept and first-hand practical experience in the field, develop a critical understanding of food system by focusing on particular four competence, uh, and those are dialogue, observation, participation, reflection and visioning. And the first module of the master is strongly dedicated to that, and then you will continue to use for the rest of the, of the year of the activity. So the, um, the master is 90 European uh, training uh, uh, credit. Um, it's in English. The uh, num maximum number of students is generally 25. Uh, the minimum is 15. And the first two edition, we had uh, both year 17 students. That for me was the perfect uh, size. So it's a 12 months activity. The fee are the same for all the, the master at UNISC, uh, 16,500. And we have here uh, some main collaborator because this master, of course, in general, UNISG is uh, co co founded by Slow Food. No? So there is, a, in general, a good connection. But in this master, we have uh, uh, the third phase that now I'm going to explain you. But um, the student will physically go in a, in a community, generally a farm. Uh, that is a slow, slow food uh, community. And uh, moreover, we have all the partner of the Next Food project, the, pro the research project I said before, that was the project that developed the master. And in particular, I have two, let's say, uh, co -de main co-designer. One is Gary Leblain from Norwegian University of uh, Life Science. I'm collaborating with him at UNISC since, since already, I think, 13 years already. And I invite him every year to, to co-teach with me some of the module I teach. And in particular, in this master, we share the first module about uh, action and experiential learning. The other one is Alexander Bedzel from Izara. Um, that uh, he is coordinator of uh, another Horizon 2020 project uh, um, about uh, to, to foster agroecology at European level. Um, we are also together in the board of director of Agroecology Europe, that is a European association of agroecology that we co-founded. And, and we are we have in general many activities, many we collaborate in many activities. Those two, both Guy and Alexander, professor, full professor, they have themselves a uh, master in agroecology, uh, one in NBU and one in Isara. And their master is a two-year master program, so a full two years master program. Uh, so I managed to develop with them, with their university, um um we sign an agreement uh, so that our student that finished the first year at uh, UNISC in this in the master of agroecology can or if they want go for the second year of their master to finish uh, a full a full second year of the program um what we are searching for we are searching for enthusiastic and activists about food, gastronomy, eco-gastronomy, agroecology, sustainable food system, food sovereignty. Um, the level of um, uh, say certificate that we need is a bachelor degree in all kinds of disciplines. And um, uh, sorry, there is Franca Chiarle that uh, uh, she's asking for the link. Uh, Today was difficult, sorry. And I, I am, allora, sono nel, 
लिंक और ये जो है ना Okay, let's see. Because I think that, sorry, I just say that you, we are in two. Maybe there were other people that were waiting. Um, let's see if there are new person coming. Maybe I I can complete afterwards from the beginning again. Okay. Um, anyhow, in case you don't have a, a BA, a bachelor degree, um, you can also you can anyhow follow the program. Of course, at the end you won't receive a master degree, but a certificate of attendances. Um, what are the main elements of this master? As I said at the beginning, a strong focus is on actual learning approach. Again, I want to say that the whole uni is, uh, university, university have uh, an experiential approach, but <laughs> in this master is particularly developed uh, and uh, we went very deep in the, uh, in the creation of the program having a strong focus on that okay so it's very systematic and uh, designed properly um, so the different professors that you see are not just coming in and coming out but they collaborate and they build with a transdisciplinary activity and assessment so we have um, interactive classroom. Of course, so there are some frontal lectures, no more than one third of the whole program, probably even less. Mm, then there are uh, many other uh, activities, educational activities like uh, dialogue uh, or case-based uh, uh, exercise. Um, yeah, many, many role, role game, many other activities. We use regularly every week. Uh, you will have either a uh, half or full day, generally Wednesday, in the Garden of Unis. We have a beautiful garden, or a one day study trip in an organic, sustainable farm in Piedmont nearby. There are, we have a lot of uh, great uh, example of very pioneer farmer, very well established, that they are doing an amazing job. Um, and we have one study trip of one week uh, in March. This year we will go to Sicily. I don't know next year where we will go. Uh, we have a peer-to-peer -peer learning among students because, of course, um, let's say frontal lecture and, and having an expert, uh, international expert on the topic is very important, but it's also very important to build First of all, on our own previous experience. Secondly, uh, to learn by our peers. So to understand what the other um, did. And uh, so there will be a lot of uh, small groups activity. And the thesis is an important part, uh, is an action research thesis. Uh, so in this master, you are not allowed to let's say, just uh, develop uh, what the other master call as a report, uh, but uh, is a thesis in uh, a master thesis. And um, uh, there, there are specific steps that uh, you will develop since the beginning of the master uh, to identify your research themes, uh, strategies, uh, a plan for the thesis, and then carry out the, the activity and uh, the defense that will be in September. We we have we, we will you will have connection with the mass mass communities um, during this period that is a minimum three months period generally from April to June um, we will use e learning to uh, continue our uh, didactic activity and educational uh, development so it's not an internship is a is part of the program. Um, and there is this activity of uh, the second level master degree uh, in ISARA or an MBO. Okay. 
Um, these are some pictures of the co-creation activity. So I organized two workshops of three days, uh, one in 2018, the second one in 2019, um, with uh, asking uh, um, participation of, uh, as I said, many, many professors of uh, European and non-European country, experts in agroecology. Um, former student of UNISC, uh, act, actual, so student at UNISC in that moment, um, slow food communities and also farmer technicians that are involved in the, in the agricultural movement. Um, those were the first year selected community. So in Uganda, in France, in Tanzania, no, in many, many different countries of, of the world. Uh, but then it was the 2019-20 where there was the COVID. And so we had to restrict a lot to the, the final destination, but we managed. I, I will say about it in a minute. So the master is structured in four phases in a learning cycle approach with this conceptual structure of going through for, from one phase to another. So we start the first phase as I said, uh, is uh, we start uh, generally just after Terra Madre, so at the end of September. Um, the first phase goes from September till December and is divided into part. The first part is actual learning and research approach. So the first four weeks is dedicated on the module on how do we learn and how do we develop. And then the second phase, the phase 1B, is dedicated to food sovereignty, where we have also rural sociology, uh, cultural anthropology, and you know, uh, critical thinking. So all the uh, domain that uh, is basically in, the, in a hierarchical scale, the largest. Uh, and we go till December. Then there is the winter break, and we start again in January with agroecosystem and far, farm level. So, for example, the first week uh, is about uh, climate, climb and climate change. The second week is about soil. The third week is about biodiversity, and so on and so forth. Water, no? So all the element of the agroecosystem till the food system level, so the consumer studies, sensorial analysis, quality of food, uh, sustainable diets, no? so all those levels. And uh, we end the second phase with the um, Easter break. Um, and uh, before, before the Easter holiday, you present your research thesis. And before the break in December, you are matched with a community. So one community selected during this period. Then you leave for your community in the third phase to do the action learning and research in the maths community. In, we, we always suggest to go in little groups, so maximum two, three students. Of course, it's also possible to go alone and it happened, but it's better if you develop a small group activity where the other pair are have a different background so that you can share uh, the different uh, dimension and then in uh, basically july and august september is the fourth phase where you finalize the thesis uh, you concentrate on your result uh, you write the the manuscript uh, and then there is the defense and the graduation and we publish from one side the manuscript, on the other side a booklet, so a divulgative dissemination uh, booklet that explain uh, who you are, uh, the community you have been, and the result of your studies. And um, here are one after the other, the, um, the different um, phase. I just check if there are more people that entered. Uh, maybe May, which? Sorry, hi, which I don't know when, when did you enter, if you follow from the beginning or not? <laughs> um, no, but it, it's okay for me. Thank it's you. okay? Okay. Thank you. Then, then, of course, you, uh, I stop the presentation and then we, we have a, a shared dialogue. Eh? Okay, just no, to... Don't worry, it's okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay, so the first phase, as I said, from September to December, we have uh, those lists of course. Uh, action learning and action research. Then we have agroecology one with me, uh, food sovereignty with Michelle Pimber, 
from Coventry University. The system thinking research methodology is with Carola Strass from Munster University. Cultural ecology anthropology is with uh, Professor Rick Stepp from Florida University. Sociology and rural development uh, is with Jan Dao van der Plug from Wageningen University. Right to food and gender issue, um, we have um, a mix of uh, three professors <laughs> because it's an important topic. So um, we have a professor from Wageningen and a professor from Spain, from Vic and an Italian uh, professor from University of Torino. Agricultural and food economics and policy also is a mix of three professors, uh, two Italian. One is Natalia Rastragueva that worked with me and a professor from University of Pisa, as well as an invited professor from um, University of Bologna. And food law is an internal professor, Professor Bairati. And the goal of this phase is to build the ground, so to have a multiple perspective approach of, of the agro-food system, to practice competences, so the competence of dialogue, of visioning, of reflection, of observation, and of participation, and also uh, to arrive in December, uh, identify your community. We will present you the community. Um, but you have to choose the community according to the language, according to the region, and according to a research team that you are interested with. The second phase from January to March, um, it's uh, to go deeper into the actual learning and actual research, as well as uh, start to prepare the thesis project. And uh, every week we have a different professor, this is in general. So in this, uh, in this second phase, we have climate change, we have soil, water, biodiversity, crops, animal husbandry, aquaculture and fishery, agroecology too, agroforestry, food technology, sensory and consumer science, agri-food economic and policy, sustainable diets and nutrition. And uh, uh, we will go deeper into the core competence, so your own personal development, as well as a deeper understanding, so knowledge and process. Um, and you finalize the proposal of the thesis to before you go to the community and prepare for the actual learning and action research with your own community. And there will be also the study trip. The third phase, April to June, the student work on their action learning and action research project within their own community, supervised on distance by professors, tutors, and supported by learning groups. We have uh, two dedicated tutors in addition to myself. This year is Charles Plerorenzo and Nicolas Panayi that follow since the beginning, since September, in class, uh, the whole development of the students. Um, so they are like, I call them the glue, the glue of the different topics. So they, they, they have in class a lot of um, what we call ERS activities. So um, experiential reflection and sharing activities. So space for dialogue, for communicating, for developing uh, portfolios. So activities to reflect on the topic that the different professors bring in the class. For example, also some session about uh, reading literature, so different activities. And in this period, uh, you will carry out uh, your project. Um, you will contribute to the community day-by-day -day activity and getting a deeper understanding of the farm practices, and you will improve your own core competence by practicing them. The four phases, as I said, July, September, is to finalize the master thesis, closing the actual learning, actual research approach, uh, publish the math booklet and the graduation. This is the booklet. I don't know if you had a look at it. Uh, in is in the website of the master in agroecology. The first uh, year. I don't know if it's possible. Okay. You, maybe I will show you later. So the the date about the next year. Here you see that uh, the enrollment uh, uh, is uh, foreseen for two thousand twenty four. This because uh, I generally do this uh, master every two years for two reasons. The first reason is that uh, um, the master starts with Terra Madre edition to know the community, to start the master meeting the community and the, the, the pioneer, the, 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 the people, the agroecologists. Um, and this happens every two years. 
And the second reason is that uh, um, thanks to this collaboration with the other university, the master, the full master program, but is an option, finished after two years, not every every year. On the other hand, I also want to tell you that I'm thinking and reflecting uh, even to open this master every year because um, it's a beautiful program and uh, maybe maybe it is uh, needed to needed in terms of to to give continu continuity to this program every year but it's uh for me it's an open point so for the moment i just would like to be to give you the information that uh, for sure it will be open in 2024 so not next uh, september but in two years um okay and these are the Okay, and these are the person that together with me, so Nicholas and Charlotte are the other tutor. I We call them facilitator because they are, uh, the focus of the master is to facilitate the transition towards agroecology and food sovereignty. So they are their facilitator in the master program to help you to develop your own co core competences and your path. 